So as you think about the habits of your life, I'd like for you to just take a second and think about what are the bad habits that I've created? What are some of those things that I do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis that aren't serving me? And instead of just thinking with the framework of, well, I'm going to stop doing that. I'd like for you to rewrap that framework with, I'm going to replace that thing with something else. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah That's right. This is the Sales Wolves podcast. It's episode 140. And we've got a short one, but a powerful one for you today. And we're going to talk very briefly about a book. It's one of the greatest books of all time, and it is called The Greatest Salesman in the World. And I'm just going to start by saying, if you have not read this book, it is a non-negotiable. It is a must have. It is something that needs to be put on your high, high priority list. Um, It's the greatest salesman in the world, but this book is not about sales. Uh, This book is about life and the scrolls that are detailed in this book will absolutely change the framework with which you view the world. And uh, so if you have not read this, please do it. You can read it in an hour. It's a very, very short book. Um, I wanted to focus, though, on one of the scrolls, and it's the first scroll uh, mentioned in this book today. And I wanted to talk about habits because in the eighth chapter, The scroll marked one, it says, I will form good habits and become their slave. I will form good habits and become their slave. So let's talk about that for a second. So the, to become their slave, using the word slave, obviously there's a negative connotation (laughs) to that word for, for obvious reasons. But when you think about becoming a slave to your habits, the reality is every single person that can hear my voice, every single person that can see me right now, you are a slave to the habits that you have already created. And those habits may have been formed in the last few months, last few days, or these habits may be driven so deep that they've been here for years and years and years. But the only way that you can create or the only way you can rid yourself of an old habit of a bad habit of a, of a habit that's not serving you is to replace it with a good one. And then once you have done that, becoming a slave to that new habit, becoming a slave to those new things that you have put in place on purpose with purpose that are ultimately going to get you to where you want to go. So when you think about becoming a slave to that habit. And if you think about that word slave, it, it, it literally means that you, there is no choice that the habit is so ingrained in your daily routine. The habit is so ingrained in your weekly process that you don't have a choice not to do it because you have become a slave to it. Think about the level of conviction and the level of, um, the level of commitment to that action to become a slave to it. Now, what I just said a second ago, I think we need to touch on uh, a little bit further in that in order to rid your life of a bad habit, you have to replace it with a good one or you have to replace it with a new one. You know, you see this so often uh, with people that have addictions, whether it's alcoholism or a drug addiction or a sex addiction or whatever in the world it may be. And they go to some type of rehabilitation, whether it's, um, you know, outpatient or whether they go for some intensive rehabilitation and they come out, they go right back into the environment they were in. And unless that habit was replaced by another habit, then it's easy to slide back in to what you we're doing and what got you there. It's easy for that habit to creep back into your life because it is still a habit until it is replaced by another habit. 
And so that's why often when people come out of rehab, they're, you know, going all in on certain hobbies or, or occupations or meetings and things that will become new habits in their lives, which will, you know, at the, at the, at the easiest to distract them, but ultimately will serve them moving forward. So as you think about the habits of your life, I'd like for you to just take a second and think about what are the bad habits that I've created? What are some of those things that I do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis that aren't serving me? And instead of just thinking with the framework of, well, I'm going to stop doing that. I'd like for you to rewrap that framework with, I'm going to replace that thing with something else. So let's just play this out. Let's, let's make an example here real quick off the top of my head. So if I have a bad habit of scrolling through Instagram, when I lay in bed at night, when I should be sleeping, then for me to just tell myself that I'm just going to stop doing that. That's, that's good. That's all fine and well. But what if I were to replace that habit with something else and started doing that nightly and on a daily basis so that I replaced it with a habit that would serve me? So what if instead of getting into bed, pulling up my phone to scroll through Instagram, what if I pulled out a book and read for 10 minutes before I went to sleep? What if I found a meditation that I could start doing to get myself in the mental state where I'm going to be more apt to go to sleep quicker and go to sleep better? Um, I personally use Headspace and Calm for this exact thing. I use a lot of their sleep meditations uh, to get myself in the right frame of mind to get better and quicker um, and just generally better quality sleep. So again, it's not just saying, Hey, I'm going to stop scrolling through Instagram at night. No, if that's a habit, if that's something that you've been doing for days, weeks, months, years, then you are going to have to replace it with something else. You're going to have to do something else during that time. And naturally you could, you could, you could look at this situation and say, well, if you stop doing that, then you will be doing something. But if that something is just whatever randomly occurs on that night when you would normally do that other do that other thing, you will go back to that bad habit. You will fall back into your bad habits unless you replace that habit with a new habit and become a slave to it. Then you'll keep doing what you're doing. And what happens when you keep doing what you're doing? You keep getting what you're getting. So I want you to guys to take a really hard look at some of those habits that you formed over time that just simply aren't serving you. And then look at what can I replace those habits with that will serve me, that will make me a better person, that will make me a better dad, that will make me a better wife, that will make me a better friend, that will make me a smarter person, that will make me better at sales, that will make me ultimately become the best versions of myself. And when you do that, become a slave to it. Practice it day in, day out, no exceptions, and watch your world expand right before your very eyes. That's what habits do. I found a uh, quote I wanted to share with you guys right before we jumped on here. It said, a bad habit never disappears. Uh, (laughs) Let me start that over. A bad habit never disappears miraculously. It's an undo it yourself project. That was Abigail Van Buren. I have no idea who Abigail Van Buren is, but I love that. It's an undo it yourself project. I love that it says project because it takes effort. It takes time to rid yourself of these bad habits. But again, I want you the key focus of this project episode of this podcast to be that you will not rid yourself of your habits unless you, and until you replace them with another, another habit that serves you guys, if you have not read this book, I cannot stress enough the importance 
of getting it, downloading it on Audible, whatever way that you consume books. It's just a, it's a necessary, it's a must have. With that, guys, this is episode 140 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!